How's it going, boys? So today, we're playing the Legends of something. Well, in this case, one card. Old Sword Knight. Now, this is one hell of an underra uh, underrated card. Because it's, well, frankly, pretty goddamn insane. So let me explain why. Three Sorin's Thirsts, three Drowned and Locked, four Assassin's Trophies, two Cleanse the Mind, uh, four Murderous Riders. Jesus Christ, it's been a long time since we had a uh, pause. Huh. Well, you know, every day something new. Four Oats, four Knights, four Gifts of Pabdizio, three Drowned in Dreams, two Rittles of Sud, two Vivian's Arc Bow Rangers, aka the Sixes, point threes out of the world. Three Enter the God Eternals, three Liliana Dread Horde Generals, and a bunch of lands. Four Fable Passages, two Khan's Bastions, and 24 lands to be specific. And this is the only deck where we have actually a sideboard with Vivian. Well, essentially it's just a spark devil. I put all of these Miranda MacGuffins here for no reason. We're never gonna use it anyway, because yeah. So, Oat, Oat Sword Knight is one hell of a card. What hell of an interesting card if you think about it. And we're gonna be making a different deck about Oath Sword Knight also. It's gonna be, well, it's gonna be arguably better than this. But this deck is essentially designed to be only Oath Sword Knight doing stuff and shenanigans and whatnot. The other deck is gonna be every card does things, but every card is designed to synergize and make Oath Sword Knight a little bit more oomphier in the long term. So yeah, so let's just get it rolling and see what, what happens. Something good's about to happen, maybe, hopefully, who knows? Who knows, boys, who knows? But yeah, this is gonna be interesting, because honestly, it's 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 one hell of a thing to see an 8-8 old sword knight and you understand it, wait a minute, there's nothing I can do to kill it, unless you're using a direct removal effect. But, direct removal effects nowadays are, well honestly they're not exactly rare rare, but it's not like everyone runs them constantly. So yeah, but yeah, we're gonna make a second version of this deck, where it's a little bit, well, uh, well, it's, it's gonna be a little bit different, so to speak. And against Gruul Colors, Enter the God Eternals is one hell of a good card by the way boys. Oh no, this is not an enter- uh, this is not a Gruul deck, this is an elemental deck. Okay, is he gonna now get on curve the Risen of the Reefs? Well, if he does, I'm gonna murder the living shit out of it, so technically it's- <gasps> Well, that honestly does put a little bit of a damper vamper on our things and ings, but technically, technically, Oh, we can't actually cast it. Well, ain't that just absolutely disgusting? Okay, well now we're gonna be able to cast it, right? Yes. I thought I'm gonna murder uh, murderous rider this, but turns out no. No, we're not. We're gonna enter the God Eternals. And enter the God Eternals. Honestly, one of my favorite cards. Arguably not the best card looks wise. The the white sinner the, the white does not contrast against anything. You kinda look at the whole it, it's artistically not my favorite card. But factually, and most importantly, unfactually, whatever that means, it is. Because I like it. So deal with it. Okay, hopefully he can't do anything to prevent- Ah, he can't, boys. Oh, and we got a really good mill, boys. Oh, Cavalier of Thorns is one hell of annoying creature feature, but admittedly we do have Drown and Locked now that actually, you know, does stuff. Okay, so we still yeah, have yet to found uh, the boy wonder that's gonna make everything in our life pleasant. Oh, look at that, a Chandra. I hate myself now. Are you gonna minus four this Chandra? You know, just, 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 you know, a question and answer round, honestly. Yes, you are. Well, boys. I can't say that that's actually bad. That's pretty good, honestly. That is kind of exactly, honestly, what I wanted to see of my life. Okay, hopefully he now plays something big that we can just counterspell. Then we can drop a Liliana. And then he's gonna surrender. And we still haven't even gotten our good old knight to friendu. 
Okay. Don't exactly care if you do... Oh, I do care if you do that, though. Uh, counter target spell, blah, blah, blah. And when I drop the Lilian, I have a feeling he's gonna surrender. Man, usually you get the knights really early on because, you know, the game is just good at understanding that you want that card. Well, it honestly, the algorithmically, has absolutely nothing else it can do. So, there, there, there you have it, boys. There you have it. Okay. Ooh, you know what? That's bad. I have never seen anyone use that card before. Questionable, to say the least. Well, on... Uh... Well played, game. As always. Tab the color of slands because fucking reasons. Oh boy. Well, we might as well do this, honestly. No reason not to, technically. Okay. The only thing I don't like about this deck is Riddle of Sut. You need it, but sometimes it plays against you, honestly. And that's a bad thing. Okay, since we can do everything like this, no no problems. We don't even need to lose our Liliana, so that's gonna be absolutely terrific. And we can counterspell literally anything he does. So even technically better. Okay, so let's see what enemy Kun does. Well, he's gonna block, but he has lost because he's playing a, uh, you know, uh, elemental deck and he did not achieve the easy win condition Risen Reef Kun. So, you know... Well, I honestly can't feel bad for him, but I'm a, I'm a little bit forced to feel a little bit bad. Wait a minute. He can attack my Liliana. That is absolutely 100% unacceptable. So, you're not gonna attack my Liliana. Assassin's Trophy, boys. Assassin's Trophy. Okay. So this game looks 100% in the bag. And yes, by the way, Liliana is still technically thematically right. Because that uh, that knight thing is an undead. And Liliana commands the undead. And if you need a generalis, a sexy one at that, you're obviously picking Liliana Kun. Well, Chan. Yeah, same. Almost same. Thankfully no one knows Japanese, so it's fine. So now he needs to choose what he's gonna leave behind. Oh god, is that gonna be a hot choice? Well, he chose. I'm just gonna kill this now, because otherwise it's a little bit annoying. Also, it just mills him faster, so... Well, secondary win conditions, I guess. Okay, so that was a relatively easy win. Yeah, I know, while the knight is the main appetizer of this deck, boys, sometimes, well, some, sometimes the knight's just not happening. But when it does happen, it's pretty good. Did I mention we have a 6.3 Vivian also? Also, boy, is Vivian literally the most useless creature feature in all of magic lore? Does she ever even do anything? Like, how bad lore-wise is she? Okay, this is not the dream, but honestly, I think, I think the game's trying to tell me something, so this is definitely a keep hand. Ah, I can already feel it how I'm gonna have to uh, call out the game for being rigged for not giving me lands, while the enemy has at least 50 times more lands because, well, assassin's trophies. Well, honestly, every time I cl complain about lands, it's not like I'm complaining about, Ooh, look at that, we're not even have to gonna need that. That's amazing. Okay, I'm assuming he's gonna drop the... Nothing? Huh. Well, impressive. Not really, but, you know, imp impressive-ish, kind of. Uh, kind of feeling that there's going to be this card involved. Kind of feeling he's making our Drown and Locked a lot more better and easier. But that's absolutely fine, yet again. Okay, let's see what enemy Kun does now. I'm assuming he's going to drop a third land, and it's not going to be too impressive, but hey, that's just life. Okay. I need two more things in it. Bum 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 bum. Well, he's gonna get rid of drown and locked. If I get rid of drown and locked, what the? Well, I honestly I think want him to get rid of drown and locked. 
because it's a counter spell. If you if this 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 is how this stupid game works. If if you check the hand to discard something, you're discarding counter spells every single time, because counter spells are the strongest thing. Oh boy, that's actually not even bad. We're gonna do this out of pure vengeance. Good stuff. Okay. See, now we finally got our knight to boyo. But, again, technically not that great. Okay, more things. Woo. I am so happy I get to play. Oh, look at that. I'm not gonna use this. Otherwise, it's gonna be problematic to say the least. Aha. Now I'm gonna use this. So you see, the thing is, this won't die to Vampire of the Dire Moon. Why? Because she's too hot to kill anyone. Like, well, instantaneous effects are a bitch. What, 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 what can I say, boys? What can I say? Oh, this is gonna be annoying because he also has murderous riders, and murderous riders are murderous riders, and they're like super annoying. But we are currently winning the, the War of Nutrition, which is absolutely 10 out of 10. Also, arguably, you know, you can just drop a murderous rider there and it's all fine in the hood and whatnot. Oh, okay, now it's bad. Okay, what the hell? Okay, what can you even make of the You can only turn it into a goddamn vamp- oh. Enemy Kun! That is hilarious! Absolutely hilarious! Okay, now we have a drown and locked. Are you actually gonna turn it into a vampire just for life gain? That that's like the real question here. Honest to God. What an absolute mad lad champion. I, I tip my fedora to you, sir. I I don't tip my fedora to that though. Okay. No fedora tipping. Well, no excess fedora tipping. Again, I don't want to use assassin's trophies because currently everyone starved for lands. So, you know, it's it's like assassin's trophy, extremely powerful card. Extremely overpowered hard card in the current historic, by the way. But yeah. Okay, here we have it, boys. Our own Swart Naitu. He's a man with a dream. And he's actually not undead, but, you know, Liliana doesn't exactly care. She she can dominate all over me anytime she pleases. In a completely only sexual way, by the way. So, yeah. You know, just to make it clear. This channel is not about, ab uh, about abbreviations of things. We're essentially too, too fucking stupid for that. So, hey, that's just life. Okay, so since he has four lands, now it would be the exact time to just flat out. I like how he did stuff there, though. Okay, so now... How are we gonna do this? What's bit? I, I guess killing Soren-chan is a little bit better. Bye-bye, Soren-chan, Tan, whatever. You will not be missed. Like, seriously, I will not miss you at all. I actually kind of disliked you a lot. Well, at least this incarnation of Sorin Kun. Look at him. He's not kawaii at all. Jesus Christ. I personally do not adore things that are not absolutely 300% kawaii certified. And this Sorin Kun, not even close. But our forecast Sorin Kun, that is literally the anime protagonist of anime protagonists. Now that, my boys is a different thing. And see? It doesn't die. This thing does not die to like fucking anything. Well, except stuff like that. I really hope I get a land so I can pay this guy back in full. Well, that is not a land, but it can technically draw us a land, so 10 out of 10. Are you gonna count? No, you're, you're not. Good. Okay, enter the God Eternals. Man. You sometimes forget how actually, like, kind of slowish standard this to a degree. Well, if you make a slow deck. Oh, look at that! It's like nothing happened. Ta-da! Enemy Kun. Well, admittedly, yeah, Enemy Kun is rolling with cards that actually deal with our Oat Sword Knight 2 chan. But, I guess it's fine. Okay, we can start proliferating him soon, and Lilian soon is gonna get to whipping on this bad boy. Ah, yes. 
Sexual fantasies, boys. It's just an abbreviate. Oh, wait, do I want this dead? I have a feeling I want that dead. He has too much land now. And he seemingly has absolutely none of the things he would like to have, so... Boom. Oh, he didn't even scry. So, does that mean he has something to kill Liliana? Ton? Oh, hopefully not. Okay, Drowning, which we can't even use. Well played, game. Absolutely well played. Okay, I'm not gonna proliferate just yet. I'm actually playing with my brain. Just a little bit, boys, so don't start the panic just yet. Really now? You're not gonna do anything? Well, then I'm gonna proliferate. Okay, also, by the way, at start, I thought that maybe I'm gonna use the Oathsworn Knight with the armor rack, because that's a pretty cool interaction. But then later on, I understood that, nah. Nah, 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 nah. Okay. I, I, I like how we're missing one, uh, you know, blue land. Yep, that's impressive. Okay, so what is this? He's getting too many land draws. I am finally, boys, finally took long enough. And you can't counterspell that. Oh, you can't counter suck a dick. Oh, boy. So, let me get this right. Every single motherfucker in the universe now is rolling with negate. Like, it's been a while since I have played uh, Standard. It's been, like, literally a couple of days and shit. Uh, but it seems like everyone in their goddamn mother is now playing negate. Every person I play against is rolling with negate. I understand it's a good card and shit and whatnot. But, you know, really now? Like, really, really now? Is that is that how it's gonna happen? Is that how it's gonna work? Ooh. Do I want to get rid of that? Let me check. Well, there's technically absolutely nothing that he can get out of that. Okay, if I do this... Oh, I can't do... Well, I can't do now. So... Boom. I don't want him turning that into a this, because I want to play my Vivian Chan. Well, Vivian 6.3. Okay, so, what's his solution? Because currently, God knows what the fuck this game... It's like, it's, it's, it's like the top decking of the century now. Like, his deck is some kind of strange combo, not combo exactly deck, and my deck is some kind of strange whatever deck. And, you know, essentially what's currently happening is the the blessed situation where one person has, well, and both decks have, like, some creatures and whatnot that do stuff, and they have control. And these kind of games happen when you're playing up against that same kind of deck. So these games are excruciatingly always slow. Because, yeah, he has some uh, some minor combos with some powers and whatnot. But essentially... Oh, that's cute. You need to get gain life, though, first, boyo. What? Okay, what is he gonna get rid of? I'm assuming Vivian Arcbow Ranger, because, you know, a classic. Well, it's a Planeswalker. Also, we do have a sideboard once in our lives, so technically she's, like, dangerous. Admittedly, we even had the mana to cast her, so can't really blame him, but I do have this, so technically it's all good in the hood. Oh, this is a little bit problematic. Oh, that's never gonna do anything, enemy con. The clear, like... You, you kind of remove the only card in the deck that actually is not meant to do shit. Yeah. Okay, so that. Oh, I can kill everything if I want to, but not today. So today we're taking this, and today we're taking... Let's see, how much mana do we have? Not enough, huh? Well, definitely these two bad boys, because reasons. Okay, and now we're obviously flipping the turn. Okay, the question now becomes simple. Can he deal with the second Lilian Dreadhorde Generalis? 
My assumption will be a, a flat out no, not today. Okay, let's skip the battle phase. Wait, what? Are you gonna actually, like, attack? That's really questionable, enemy Kun. That is really questionable. Okay, I don't remember in the interaction, but I'm pretty sure he can't get it back instantaneously. Oh. You know what? That is absolutely 200% fine. Zombies. Oh, that was actually also a zombie. Who would have known? Okay, so here's essentially how it how this works. We play Liliana. Uh, we do the minus four. That thing, Deadzo. It was nice knowing you. Uh, he draws a land. Uh, does that do anything bad to us? I kind of think it doesn't. Wow. Wait, really? Are you gonna... Oh, be wait, what? Uh, oh, be wait. oh, because it has surveil. I was thinking, how the fuck is he getting that shit back? Oh, it has actually surveil. Kind of completely 300% forgot about that, boys. Not gonna lie. But this is actually playing... Uh, okay. Well... Ain't that just flat out sadness? Don't get rid of my Liliana, you fucking creep. Jesus Christ. Okay, so this is the only part in life I uh, never thought I'm ha gonna have to deal with. So we do this. Okay, amazing. 10 out of 10, right? And then we do essentially pay life. If we do this, no, we can't. Yes, flip turn, boys, flip turns. Okay, so how am I supposed to win against this guy now? Because honestly, I'm, you know, kind of at a loss here because reasons. Okay, yes, that was expected, but that's why we proliferate, boys. Oh, yes, proliferation. N so n nothing essentially happened. Okay, good, 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 good. Okay, I need to figure out how the hell do I kill this thing. Vampire. Okay, that's that's honestly not that bad. Man, he's continuing killing my graveyard, which is seriously annoying. But, you know, technically, again, it's kind of still fine. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Well, this time, Leon is dead for sure. Dead to rights, even. So let's just do this. And now let's Ritual of Sut. That's gonna allow us to draw two cards. Okay, so what's the dream here? That's not gonna die because Ritual of Sut things. Okay. Technically, I actually kinda have to enter the God Eternals and then something magical happens. Well, that that's essentially the idea. Okay, that's good. That's really useful. Okay, gonna drop it. We're gonna assume he draws a land, like, literally always, boys. So, he's gonna draw a land, right? Again, that's the assumption. We have Drowned and Lock, so currently we have so much advantage on this poor chump, it's not even... Well, it is actually hilarious, but... You, you, you get my drift, boys. Get, get my drift. Uh, I'm gonna just play this, why not? Technically, there's like 3 billion reasons why not, because it's stupid, that that being the literally biggest and mainest one. But, stupidity has literally never stopped me from achieving my dreams. And, my dream, and by dreams, I obviously mean nothing of even a remote value. Okay, so now you can try to kill it if you want, but I have Drown and Lock, so essentially, that's, that, that's where your story ends, enemy Kun. Okay, so, the only bad part, this is an instant speed card. Which technically is really, 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 really bad for us. Use something, do it now, enemy con. Oh, he didn't do it now, okay. Uh, okay, I'm gonna do it like this, okay. Seems reasonable-ish. Let's see, proliferation, well, pro we don't need to proliferate, we, we don't, but, you know, whatever. This is gonna force him to use anything he has against the old sword knight, 
if he has anything that deals with it, obviously. And then it's gonna be good. But boys, we are gonna make such an old sword knight deck where literally everything empowers him. It's gonna be insane. It's gonna be like one and boys, but it's gonna be like old sword knight and boys, and there's actually gonna be a old sword knight, not like in the Vana deck when there's no actual Vana. Okay, I'm assuming he's gonna try and kill it now. The only problem is enemy con. How? How are you gonna kill this magnificent beast of a man? Also, that is completely the wrong thing to do. You could have just like. You know, did the big man thing. Well, that does not technically save him. Jesus Christ, that was a good surveil. Okay, enemy con. Oh, I need to... Oh, shit. Well, technically, it still does absolutely nothing. Because reasons. We can kill all of that. Oh, he can't even pay. Nice. Oh, that's cute. That is absolute cuteness. You think you're better than me with your murderous knight? No, you are nothing. You are absolutely nothing. You will breathe when I tell- Oh, fuck you. Well, ain't that a bitch. Huh. God damn it. Well, he has only one HP left, so technically, whoopty doopty, fuck you. And 17 cards left. So, what's the plan here? <laughs> oh god, boys. This has been quite a shit show, if I do say so myself, honestly. Quite the magnificent shit show. Okay, two old sword knights there, so it's actually worthwhile to cleanse the mind. Okay, so let's see. We get everything back and... Amazing. Ten? Out of ten, my boys. The absolute... Well, if he doesn't obviously draw something that kills this creature feature, but hey, what's the chances, right? It's a land! Don't look at it. Oh my god! Oh my god, game. I'm not gonna hit the table. I made a, I made, I made a, you know, I asked Santa for Christmas, am I a good boy or a bad boy? He told me, I'm a sick fucking fuck and there's no resurrection for me. And then I understood that maybe it's time to stop hitting table, Kun. Maybe, you know, just, just maybe. You know, n n no complete bits, but hey, if Santa says I'm a twisted thug, then maybe Santa has a goddamn point. Well, not really. Santa can go fuck himself. But yeah. Okay, a note, a vampire, whatever, cadaver. Oh no, enemy con, you got me. Please attack me, you pussy. Jesus Christ. Enemy con, come on. I'm gonna mill you at this rate. Oh, no, wait, I, I can still just, you know, draw a Vivian-chan, and it's gonna... No Vivian-chan, boys! Wow! Okay, no Vivian-chan it is, I guess. Well, technically, observe how I still magically managed to draw a Vivian-chan. Well, and a counterspell. And a counterspell. That's, that's, like, really important here, boys, counterspells. Okay, I know we have won this, but, you know... This, this, this is down to the... Like, this is what happens when you play against these decks. This guy has, like, solutions for almost everything. But he doesn't understand the fact that you need to be greedy if you're making decks like this. You need to be a greedy, greedy person. Oh, yes. Well, we're gonna win. There's, you know, there's literally no question about it, enemy con. All you can hope... All you can hope for is a miracle, and by God, well, you're not getting it, obviously, because reasons at this point. Uh, yes, let's get another fabled passage to uh, thin out the deck a little bit more. Okay, so we're not gonna attack. Also, I think he's AFK because he's pissed. Wouldn't really blame him. Well, I would be the exact amount of... Do it. Oh, that's just absolute cute. That is just so cute. So cute. 
but they don't exactly have a solution to the situation anyway. 15 cards. Fable Passages. What a great time to be alive, boys. We're literally playing off the fuck... Should I enter the God Eternals, my own murderous rider? That's gonna give me more time. Yeah, I should definitely enter the God Eternals, my own murderous rider. If I think about it now. This is definitely a smart play. <laughs> oh, boys. Because it's gonna give me a new... It just gives me a new creature and it mills him. And considering mill may actually be the solution to things currently. You know, it's like, hey. Well, well what you gonna do? Okay. So, that's dead. Oh! We got rid of a lot of not exactly useful cards. Yeah, whatever. 10 out of 10. Would would get rid of not exactly useful cards again, probably. Well, now we can actually kill this. Technically, if we attack, he can't do anything anymore, so that's good. Oh! But yeah, we have way more cards that we can top deck and win. That, that's like the big thing here. We have still a bunch of Drown and Dreams, a bunch of stuffs. You know, all that shenanigans. All those good stuffs, boys. God, we have... I love it when we fulfill our, uh, our... Well, it's always the third objective. The mill condition. God, because yeah, seriously, every deck I have kind of designed is... Well, literally has the mill condition as if like... Okay, look at this. More stuff. Well, again, that's gonna allow us to... That gives us a huge boon of an advantage, so I guess that's fine. Also, we're slowly but surely getting to the point of... Uh, do I want to attack? Honestly, I need to attack, right? There's a bigger chance we... Yeah, we're gonna attack. There, there's a bigger chance that, you know, something, something. Yeah, th this this is like the best thing we can do. He needs to block. There's no, uh, there's no way, uh, there's literally no way around it. Now he's thinking. He's thinking about a life where he doesn't have to face a pretty much, well, almost equivalent deck. Okay, and it's dead. Pip. And this is also dead. God, you, you you just don't remember sometimes how goddamn annoying is Night Vale Predator. It's such an annoying card. So let's see it, enemy con. A land. A murderous rider. A very, very impressive enemy con. It's so impressive, it's insane. You know, impressed out of 10. No questions, boys, no questions. It looks like, yes, we're milling him, though. Okay, just gonna get rid of it. Does it go to the bottom? Yeah, it goes to the bottom. So we're not gonna have to deal with it forever. And again, we have so many cards that just... Oh! You can't use it, enemy con. Well, I can't use this also. Okay. What a game. Good game. <laughs> Do you even have anything that wins anymore? You probably don't, huh? Good game. Well, close enough, enemy con, honestly. Oh, they, okay, we found it. We find it. Okay, so now we win. There's not a singular card he can draw that actually wins from this point. Because reasons. Oh, Old Sword Knight. If only I could get a Liliana to top you off, if you know what I mean. That's a sexual innuendo again. Man! Oh, wait! Let's just do this for dominance purposes. Okay, so make this a 5 5 now. Dominance! Dominance! I kind of have a lot of dominance. Ba -da -ba. Boys, have I ever distilled you the story of the Oath Sword Knight that, it's that is invulnerable to damages? 
God, when we make a deck completely about this crazy bastard, it's gonna be spectacular. Not gonna lie, boys. Boom! Oh, look! It's not even dead. It's a 5 5. Jesus Christ. And everyone's just sleeping on this in. Okay. We did it once! Now my vengeance is gonna be complete, lads. Not gonna lie. Oh, Drown in Dreams. Why not? Okay, so let's see what we can get. Oh! Yes! Yes, sir! And let's get this. Why not, right? Okay, now do this. Dominance! Okay. And we can still use Drown in Locked. Amazing. Proliferation. And he decides to use Suicide. Good game. Good game. Should have done that a little bit faster. Ah, uh, he does not want me to get the satisfaction of absolutely murdering his things. Damn it. So close. But yeah. Like, seriously. Why is everyone sleeping? Well, I have been sleeping on this card for a while also. But admittedly, I did theorize that it's gonna be one hell of a good card. So imagine if you put that thing in a proliferation deck or something as, you know, insane as that. You know, I'm thinking like, uh, well, like actually exactly these colors. But yeah, imagine you put that, well, actually we need white. I'm gonna share a little bit. Like, the easiest way to make that knight completely insanely overpowered is literally our anime Sorin Kun. Yeah, this thing will, well, like, that knight has no downsides if you just had this bad boy there. Like, seriously. And then you can add some more planeswalkers or something like that, and it's gonna be even better. Look at this. Let's see. Let's see what kind of planeswalkers we can add. Target creature again, dead touch life, link a vampire. Well, it's not a vampire, so that's a problem. But yeah, we can do so many interesting things. So many interesting things. We can still add a Vivian Argbochan there. You know, maybe this Vivian, maybe that Vivian. God knows what we can do. But, well, also, this Johnny is a must because Vigilance. But yeah, we're gonna make something tremendous with that. When we, you know, make everything... Well, this deck already is everything about him, but hey. So yeah, this was Quizzer Sensen. Thanks for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, check out my channel, check out the Discord, check out the Patreon, there's soon gonna be a Patreon revamp, and we're gonna add so many good things, when I decide to, well, you know, quit being lazy, which is arguably extremely hard and tedious for me, but still, so yeah, have a nice day, Baba. oh, right, this is the sideboard if I didn't show it, I think I did, but, you know, who cares, have a nice day, bye-bye.